afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Florida Music Television. My name is Fane, and today I'm coming to you from Will's Pub in Orlando. And a little bit later, we're going to be talking to Orlando's own Endorphin. We're going to talk about their new CD and a bunch of other stuff. But first, check out this video. All right, welcome back to Florida Music Television. I'm here with Endorphin. Thanks for being on the program. Thank you for having us. First of all, congratulations on your record deal. Yeah, thanks, man. And we got uh, signed to Rockridge Music back in April. It's an awesome little indie label. They put out a record for us, getting some distribution on our new album. It's Glow Sticks for Clubbing Baby Seals. Glow Sticks for Clubbing Baby Seals. That's hilarious. I'll admit, though, uh, first time I heard it, I didn't get it. Uh, but when I saw the CD cover, that kind of says it all. Who came up with that idea? Um, collective. Yeah. I think we were just throwing around some just ridiculously nonsense puns and uh, that would be on that edge of offensive and see who wants to call us and bitch about it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where, where, uh, where's Rock Rage putting these records? Can you get them anywhere? Um, it's available tons of different websites. Any place that CD music is available online. Just about, I mean, Amazon.com, FYE, Best Buy, um, all those websites. You can also get it on our website, okay. um, pay through through there, at our shows, uh, Virgin Mega Stores, um, and then yeah, it should be in Best Buy stores starting uh, August 8th. Very cool. All right, well, uh, we'll have more with Endorphin here shortly, but let's take a break. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're here with Endorphin. Now, Endorphin is a working band. You're a touring band. Seems like you're always out on the road playing out-of-town shows. How important do you think it is for a local band to venture outside of their hometown? And specifically, what do you think uh, that has done for you in terms of your current success? Like, um, I don't know, like, being able to do it this way and, like, come out just straight up local and go move around and do that when you first start doing it it doesn't seem like you're you're gaining a lot but what you do is you gain a little bit at a time and a little bit at a time and then eventually you know all these different places that you're going to it feels a lot more yours you know I mean it belongs to you you worked for it and you earned it you, know? you start building relationships uh, not only with with uh, the fans there but with other bands and, and venue owners and that, that'll help you when you're trying to put together an extended tour as well, correct? Oh yeah, that's that's probably the biggest payoff in this whole deal is just meeting absolutely insane, absolutely cool people. Like, it's, it's yeah, definitely an experience. You're on tour right now with one band, uh, you're obviously from Florida, you're on tour with a band from Arizona and a band from West Virginia. How did three bands so far apart come to tour together? Through the world of MySpace, I guess. I mean, like, MySpace, you can do anything with MySpace. And that's how we hooked up with Psycho Stick and, uh, uh, like, which Boba Flex, I think, was uh, management. Our management knew their management, and we kind of hooked up and, and truly became friends. So that's cool. I mean, it's not like a, we have to be on tour with this band again. It's right. There's an actual, like, enjoying playing this whole tour has been really, really fun. How long have you been out so far? Forever. Forever? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been actually, I, I mean, we've been fairly busy since the beginning of the year. I mean, just, just constantly going out and doing different legs. And I mean, we did some stuff with dog fashion. We did, uh, Lord, earlier in the year, we did stuff with Boba Flex. And so, I mean, just anything to keep us out there and keep us moving and growing and, and building up like I said, a little bit at a time yeah, and collecting ours. Get you the know. Word out. Sure. All right. Uh, well, we will be back with some more endorphin, but first, let's watch another video. It's time for celebrity birthday. Today is the birthday of local celebrity and star of such films as Everybody Into the Woods. His fever's getting worse. We need to get him out of here, he's gonna die. And canola oil. Mark E. Bowermaster. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we're back with Endorphin. We were talking earlier about how you guys have been on tour for quite a long time, and something I always find fascinating is how bands always have these crazy stories. Uh, what's gone on recently that uh, that would qualify? Would qualify. In the last three days, we've seen um, 12-year-old kids that were as good as, as, as Iron Maiden. Wouldn't you say? I mean, like, these, these kids, it was a three-piece band, and they were ridiculous. They were, like, 12 years old. We saw dude get his head split wide open la what, two nights ago, same show. And then last night, we saw a dude take a Twinkie, split it down the middle, put a hot dog in it, pour salsa on it, and just down the whole damn thing. So, you know, not as many, uh, not as many breasts, as they say, are on tour, but... You know, you Twinkie salsa dog sandwiches are almost as enter almost as entertaining. Very interesting. So, so not a whole lot of backstage antics, so much as. Uh, well, food I mean, it's antics. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. This should relieve the rock star glory. <laughs> there it is. That's <laughs> rock star glory for you. <laughs> oh man! All right, guys. Well, thanks for being on the program. We're actually out of time, but. What, uh, if people want to find out some more information about you, where can they go? Um, you can go to, of course, MySpace forward slash Endorphin um, or www.endorphin.com. Uh, you can request us on XM Radio's Liquid Metal or The Squiz. Um, you can also go to altsounds.com, listen to the whole album streaming on there. Uh, and we'll also be back through Orlando at The Social on the 10th of September. And uh, with a band called Nobus from Maine, we'll be on tour with them at that time. So, Very uh, cool. Yeah, we're yeah looking forward to it. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. And you guys out there, definitely check out Endorphin. And we'll be back next week. But in the meantime, as always, get out of the house and support the scene. Speaking of which, this Friday at the Hard Rock Live, it's going to be an amazing show. Three of my favorite local bands, uh, my good friends last winter, Noon Blue and Rory all playing the same show. And it's going to be such a good show. I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to see it. So I'll tell you what. I'll give you free tickets. Uh, you just have to send me your name, address, and the number of tickets you want to tickets at floridamusictelevision.com. Also, it's going to be my birthday. So come out and buy me alcohol. Good day. <laughs>